All right, guys, today we have a 2013 Subaru Legacy Outback or Liberty model. This one is an Outback. Uh, customer's concern is they were pulling the vehicle back into the driveway with the trailer and the uh, brake warning light, brake master warning light started to flash and the vehicle's brakes just applied. And uh, now it can't move at all. So it feels like the uh, emergency brake is on. The uh, emergency brake itself doesn't actually do anything. The light doesn't light up at all. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and scan this thing and see what we got. All right, so we've got uh, some system modules here that have logged fault codes. So let's bring up our system list, see what we got. Um, first off, uh, catalyst efficiency, not worried about that. Catalyst efficiency. Uh, here we go. So electronic parking brake, mid-stop condition, actuator stroke access, and ECM failure. Oof, I don't like that ECM failure, guys. That is not good. Um, I guess we're going to be uh, looking into these faults, see what kind of, uh, what kind of diag we're going to be doing here. Um, intelligent model, power failure. Huh, interesting. All right, so there you go, there's your faults. I'm going after this electronic parking brake stuff, that ECM failure though. I mean, that would definitely cause that light to come on. Uh, I don't know where that module is. If it's part of the ABS module, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research and study the system. And I'll let you guys know what I find. We'll uh, move forward. All right, so I'm underneath the car right now. You can see this module here, this brick that's right in front of the gas tank is your parking brake module. This thing must have the motor inside of it that actuates the cables. You can see the cable running across there that runs over to the driver's side rear. And then the other cable comes out the other side. So it must be just a module with the motor that engages those cables instead of the uh, uh, traditional motors on the calipers themselves. This must be like an early model or a Subaru thing. So, um, I guess first things first, uh, I mean, check fuses and uh, make sure that this module's getting power. And then I'm just gonna probably pop that connector off. I wonder if there's any way that I can pull this connector and force this thing to uh, actuate that motor to get these parking brakes released, or if I unplug it maybe. Uh, I'm sure it needs some sort of a command or power to get that motor to move, so. I'm going to look into this a little further and we will continue. All right, so here's a list of the faults. Um, the codes are different compared to what I have pulled with my launch scanner. But you can see here our ECM failure fault code here is uh, C0231. Um, and the detailed code is what I have pulled but the DTC code itself is a little different so if you're trying to search it search for C0231 that's the ECM failure um, and then for the other ones we've got uh, our actuator stroke access that is uh, C0253 and then our mid stop condition which is a C0281 um yeah so basically the the um, mid-stop condition is the basically in the middle of the stroke of the emergency brakes engaging it has stopped at some point obviously it's stopped engaged which is not nice for whoever's got to work on that me <laughs> um and then our other one here we got uh our actuator stroke access um that one I'm guessing it's just, uh, yeah, it says the stroke is too long. So it's something's out of adjustment or thinks that it's out of adjustment. And then ECM failure is obviously ECM failure. So I'm gonna look up the uh, wiring diagram here and see if we can figure out where our power source is. Maybe this thing's lost power. All right, so it appears that this uh, fuse number 19, seven and a half amp goes to a brown wire that runs down to the hill hold switch with the light is not on so 
Um, that button is not illuminated. And then it also branches off and runs down to our electronic parking brake control module. Um, so definitely, I did check fuses with the test light, but I will uh, pull that out and just double check. And then what I might do is use my power probe and try to feed that power. And then um, we'll see if this thing maybe comes on. We maybe uh, override it if there's uh, an issue with our uh, fuse. You can see then it runs down to this uh, clutch stroke sensor for a manual transmission option, but we do not have a manual transmission. This is an automatic, so it doesn't have that. There are a bunch of other wires that are in that uh, module, so I'm going to just look through and see if we can find what the other wires do. Okay, so here's our electronic parking brake control switch. Uh, and then on the left hand side, we scroll up a little bit and there's our electronic parking brake control module. It says under rear seat, but it's underneath the vehicle. Um, under the rear seat, under the vehicle. Uh, so there we've got uh, our hill hold switch. Runs into the module here. And then we've got uh, comm lines, blue and red. Our pin six black is our ground. Uh, gray runs down to the indicator of the EPB control switch. And then it looks like we've got four wires that run up to the uh, control module itself. Um, that yellow wire runs over to that clutch stroke sensor. Like I say, we don't have that, so. Uh, I'm gonna check fuses, obviously. I'm gonna check grounds, make sure that this thing's powered up. And if not, um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this thing to uh, move. I don't see anything where it says motor. Um, so we'll figure it out. All right, so this is a case where uh, I was underneath the vehicle, unplugged the connector, went around, tested the pins. There's two big connector pins. There's a uh, power and a ground. Those were good. Some of the pins didn't match up as far as uh, what was on the diagram on uh, ProDemand, but I was able to check as much as I could. Everything seemed fine. I checked the fuses underneath of the hood, and then... Um, I plugged it back in, I came up here, I held the button, uh, the brakes retracted, and everything's working now. So I don't know if there was just a hiccup in the in that module, if that module is starting to fail underneath the vehicle, or there could be a wiring issue that I may have disturbed. Um, I'm not 100% sure. The fuses were good though, I was getting power to everything. Uh, and then I just cleared the fault codes and everything went away. So. It's unfortunate that I did not exactly find what was wrong. Obviously, I've disturbed something, but uh, hopefully this thing lives a good life and doesn't give us issues again. So uh, if your car is having this issue, I would try unplugging it, wait a half an hour, plug it back in, and, uh, and then just hold your uh, button outwards to uh, turn it off. Uh, hopefully this helps. If you have a vehicle that does the exact same thing as this and you know what the fault is, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to know. And uh, have yourselves a great day. We'll see you on the next one.